Thank you, honey, bunny. Thank you. Hey, y'all, what's up? It's your girl, Unique, and I'm back with another video. And say, hey, guys, my name is Kyra. What's up? Little kisses. Mwah. There you go. All right. And we're here today just to talk about babies. Everybody love babies. Everybody love babies. No, in all seriousness, I'm here to talk about postpartum depression. Uh, the signs and how you can get over it, girl. Because I'm, I don't. I didn't even really want to talk about what I went through, but I will. If you want me to, I will talk about what I went through. But I want to talk about the importance, what it is, the importance of knowing what it is, and how to get over it. So, postpartum is just basically depression. Postpartum depression is basically depression brought on by pregnancy. Uh, it can happen at any stage of your pregnancy. It can happen after and you know so basically the signs to that is if you're really feeling sad or down and a lot and it's, it hits you out of nowhere and sometimes you can have after you have your baby like you know signs of resentment um, anger frustration that is a part of the postpartum depression too it's it's very hard to talk about it and don't be scared I feel like everybody to me should be required to talk to a therapist after having a baby just to check in and really make sure they don't have postpartum and it should be free just because to me it, it's a lot mentally to take care of a kid or you know to go through a pregnancy it, it's a lot and people are like you know if you're a surrogate all you gotta do is carry a baby but that's a lot on your body that's a lot of mental and emotional stress as well as physical stress yeah. look at that smile oh my goodness so I just want to tell you guys first and foremost that that is the size and that is what it is now what I did to get over my postpartum depression first of all I had a lot of frustration just because I was so tired so I started speaking up and that's the number one thing speak up first step like AAA meeting hi my name is such and such and I am an alcoholic. No. Hi, my name is Unique Bradley and I have postpartum depression. It took every ounce of me to be real with her. With Kyra's doctor, actually, I kept taking Kyra to the doctor and every time I would fill out the survey for, um, they like make you fill out the survey just to make sure that you don't have postpartum depression. And when I tell you, I just was like, just babe just make sure you just fill this out for me he's like this is for you i'm like no i don't want to answer these questions because no i just don't and i think another fear of like speaking out is is somebody going to judge you and is somebody going to call cps like what what what's going to happen if you do listen speak up and say something because there are people that are killing their kids because they don't know how to handle their depression nor their frustration and it's perfectly normal that's the messed up part you know I didn't know that well I did but I you know was had a refresher the other day that you know it was normal back in the day for people not to get attached to their kids thank you baby thank you Mwah. not to get attached to their kids because infant mortality rates would be so freaking high <laughs> and uh, you know some people don't click until it, t it just takes a while and it's okay y'all it really is okay now I'm not saying that I didn't click with Kyra because when Kyra came out I cried I bawled I was so emotional and so was her dad he's gonna kill me for telling y'all that but so was her dad but understand that postpartum depression happens to it can happen to anybody you know so speak up 
Number two, find what makes you happy. Don't ditch your baby, but find a hobby. Like, YouTube is my escape from everything else. Books, reading, like, inspirational books, or I have a daily devotional, and I'll try to link it down below. I think you can get it off Amazon, or at least the author down below. But I have a daily devotional. I sing. I listen to music. Kyra is a big Chris Brown fan. Because when I was pregnant with her, there were certain songs that I would listen to. Like, She Ain't You, uh, Please Don't Judge Me. Um, Party came out. Uh, maybe one or two. Oops. Sorry, y'all. Maybe one or two months before I gave birth. And that is her song. When it comes on, that is She Ain't You. Forget about it. And she knows almost every single word to uh, do you. And I know that's kind of like an inappropriate song. I try to play the uh, edited version. But anyway, honestly, I play music to help me be happy. I dance to help me be happy. Because at the end of the day, I can't be miserable. If I'm miserable, she's miserable. And honestly, I, I love seeing my baby girl smile. So do what makes you happy. Because once you're happy, your kids will be happy and everything will work so much smoother. Third thing is get out the freaking house, girl. Get up and get out. Even if you gotta take your baby and put her in the stroller, her or him in the stroller. Well, you know, well, you, you, can't, you can't be moving them out your way just because you're ready to go, girl. She's so rude, y'all. But get up and get out. Go for a walk. Walk to the corner and back. Walk to the store and back. Just do something. Get up. Ride the, ride the city bus somewhere. To the museum or something. Do something. And then, it's, and know that it's okay if you have to leave your baby in order for your mind to be at ease. It's okay. Trust me. A break. Take a break. That's the fourth thing. Take a break from yo kids okay it is a okay like my mom said she would hopefully babysit every six weeks that is okay that gives me and her dad enough time to bond and go on a date so we just schedule our dates now for whatever my mom says you know hey i'm gonna babysit and i'm talking about like dates that you can't take a baby to that we can just hang out like maybe to the bar to the hookah lounge or even like late night movies, you know? Uh, restaurants, if we just want to be to ourselves. It is awesome. And I appreciate you, mommy. That really means a lot to me. Just get out and go. Find you a support system is number five. That is the most, one of the most essential things that I can tell you. Find a good support system, whether it is a good counselor. Sorry, but you can't bang on that like that. Whether it's a support, like a supportive group, a counselor, a teacher, somebody, find somebody. My mom was, my mom and my boyfriend and his family and my family were all my support system. Like I would just call my mom like ma, ma, ah uh, uh, nah ma, and she like girl, you got this. Know that you got this. You're stronger than anything that they can throw at you. Now Kyra was a different baby than any baby I've ever babysat. So, <laughs> when she told me that, I'm like, girl, you, girl, she different though. She, she just different. But honestly, just find you somebody to support you. And if you can't find anybody, I'll support you. If you need somebody to talk to, you know, DM me. I'm always open. I try to answer you now. If it's like four o'clock, five o'clock in the morning, I may not, depending on you know the circumstance. But I, I was always the open, like open mind for anybody to call, and I'm gonna go back to to doing that. Just be respectful, okay? Be respectful when you call. Be like, girl, I'm sorry, but I really need to talk. Uh, but other than that, like. Just make sure you have a strong foundation. A strong foundation makes for a strong house. So understand that when you feel better, when you look better, and that's another thing, make sure you get dressed every day. Because when you dress and you have your, even if you throw in a wig, and I told, I think I said that in my uh, 
no excuses challenge. When you put on something and you put on a wig and you put on a dress, it could take you from me here to right here. And if you really want face done up here, you know, I, I, I feel so much better, honestly, when I get dressed and I just let the day take me where it takes me. Uh, just know that it will be better. It will get better. And if you ever need somebody to talk to, I'm your girl. Trust and believe, okay? And if you ever need any motivation to go on, and you may be a little frustrated at your child, I promise you, praying, praying helps me. And I, I know some people may not be religious, so, you know, this don't concern you. <laughs> but I am Christian and I pray. I pray and that helps me stay grounded I'm like God like this, this is so much but I know it's not too much because you wouldn't have given it to me like you know you wouldn't have gave Kyra to me if you felt like I wasn't ready so God just just helped me and he would show me a sign like her smiling and just calming down or her going to sleep it's just it feels so good when, when God helps you too. So know that you're never ever alone, okay y'all? So just remember, you know, if you ever need, like I said, anybody talk to, I'm here. If you cannot get to me, call the hotline. I've had to call the hotline for your time. And I'll try to leave that below. But they have a suicide hotline. And I call that just to talk. So that is it for today's video. Um, well, hold on. Let me backtrack. Let me tell you some YouTubers. Since you're already on YouTube, that actually helped brighten my day. So, let me see. Amber Martin is who I'm co co coincidentally watching. No, no. I hope she makes your child. You okay? So Amber Martin is who I am watching now. Amber is a recent uh, college grad and I like to watch her because she gives me inspiration to get back in school. Which I'm not going to tell y'all. I have big plans for this year. I'm telling y'all that now. But Amber Martin. Um, Shaquille Renee. I know I like everybody's uh, YouTube below. Shakira Renee, she just keeps me cracking up. Her kids are freaking hilarious. Um, Sarah Ray Vargas, I hope I said your last name right. She is a little feisty, somebody. Okay, uh, Raven Elise, she has a she has a kid. Uh, her kid is actually a year older than Kyra. But I won't say exactly a year older because I forget her birthday. But she like inspires me to jump on the ball. And she's not that much older than I am. I mean, I think she's still at, I know she's still in her 20s. But I can't remember exactly how old she is. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm looking at some YouTubers on here. Uh, Beauty and the Beast and Tiffany, girl, we love you over here, okay? We love you. And Dama Wilson. Damo, let me tell you something. Your son's birthday is like, what, the 13th of March? My daughter's birthday is the 5th of March. They meant to be. I'm just saying. I love Damo Wilson. I love Damo Wilson since she was in Facebook. What y'all know about that, Damo Wilson? What y'all know about that? My daughter actually loves watching Damo, and she loves the Archie Dierra and Ken. So if I ever need her to calm down, she'll sit. As soon as she hear, uh, she used to hear the so kids in and role playing. She used to be like, uh, I forget what's their new like. I think during vlogmas they had that song playing, and she would just sit next to me, and play, ooh, mama, mama, and she'll sit and she'll go to sleep. So I love watching Dierra and Ken. I love watching um, Chris, uh, Damo. Damo. Let me not say the other person's name, but Damo. Uh, Patricia Bright. Oh my god, my mom introduced me to her and I cannot stop watching her. She's freaking hilarious. But let's just, uh, Latoya Forever. I'm just sorry, I just scrolled down and I saw her and that was one of the ones. 
I really like started watching on YouTube. That's that's the person that really got me into vlog vlogs is Latoya Forever. So I'll try to link everybody's uh, YouTube below. But honestly, these women have really inspired me. Really like kept me like, okay, girl, you gonna get back. We gonna get back snatched, okay? Cause we gonna look like her one day. Like Amber is bomb. Like she lost a lot of weight, y'all. Not to say that she was like heavy set or anything. Amber, girl, you was fine before, but girl. girl. But you know, I I inspire to be that confident. Like Kelly Sweet. Kelly Sweet is another girl who is bomb, who is very very confident. Now, what I do want to see more of on my uh, YouTubers list is more plus size women vlogging. Uh, I love seeing Sarah Ray. She is a plus size girl, but I want to see more, um, just more vloggers. Uh, more plus size vloggers on my favorite YouTube list. Hopefully by the end of 2019, I'll give you an update on my new favorites. But those are my favorite girls. If you ever need a pick me up, they are freaking hilarious and they speak real about a lot of things. And sometimes they just distract you from what's going on. So I hope y'all love this video. Uh, if you really want me to talk to you about my experience with uh, postpartum, like just all my whole entire pregnancy, let me know, like it, like this, okay, hit the like button, subscribe, comment, and I'll see y'all in my next video, alright, we out, say we out, say bye bye, say bye bye, can you say bye bye?